Hello, welcome to this new YouTube channel. I am the Delivery Wiz, located here in the lovely city of Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm starting this channel to help promote and uh, have video content on can you make a living off the gig economy in 2023. I'm originally from Zion, Illinois, north of Chicago, northeast. Uh, got a lot of inspiration from a channel called Cars and Cribs. He's also located out of uh, Zion, Illinois. His name's DDK. I am going to have a link to his channel in the comments, uh, the, the setup, the, the section below. Also, a shout out to Pedro DoorDash Santiago in St. Louis. It's also another inspiration to start a YouTube channel. Uh, I will have a link to his channel down below as well. A little more about me. Obviously, you can see from the White Sox hat, I'm a big White Sox fan, so I am from the Chicago area. I was lucky enough to grow up uh, in the time of uh, the Bulls' six championship runs. Got to see Michael Jordan play plenty, and I know that's irrelevant to what the channel content is going to be. Just give me a little background about myself. I moved from Illinois right across the state line into Kenosha, Wisconsin. It's within four miles of Zion. Just Illinois is not a very good state to live in, in my opinion and uh, I felt to move over to Wisconsin, which is still basically the same. It's in between Chicago and Milwaukee, along Lake Michigan, and uh, it was pretty nice. You could go to Milwaukee for events within a 30 minute drive. You could go 50 minutes to Chicago for a lot of events. You had two airports, Mitchell and O'Hare. So also nice to have a little variance of, of flying options. But I grew up there. I wouldn't trade it for the world, Zion, Illinois great place to grow up. Now on to the content. We are going to be trying different platforms from Spark, DoorDash, Instacart, Uber Eats, uh, Delivered, uh, Deliver That, uh, what else do I have? Uh, Dispatch It, um, Freight Driver, Roadie, Go Share Driver. I would do some content on Uber. No, not Uber Eats. I'm sorry, Grubhub. I was on the wait list for a year, got on the platform, and delivered for about three weeks. And then I got an email saying that I was being uh, removed uh, or deactivated from the app. Uh, no reason that was so clear, and I could not appeal. So. If you were looking forward to seeing some Grubhub uh, videos down the road, unless I can get my account reactivated, I don't think I'll be doing those. I'll primarily be doing stuff like DoorDash. What's it like to raise uh, from like a 10% acceptance all the way up to like an 80%? Um, can you make money on the Las Vegas Strip doing DoorDash or Uber Eats, where right now it's all under construction for the formula race coming in November, so it will be interesting to, to find out some of those things and uh, create some content for you, the viewers out there who, uh, you know, hopefully will be tuning into this channel and uh, you're liking what you see. And obviously, like every other YouTube creator says, if you like what you see, please think about subscribing and thumbs up to the video. It helps all of us. And with no further ado, I did take an order. I did not screenshot it, unfortunately, to go to... Walmart, and I am at the Walmart market. It's the grocery store only. It is on Cheyenne and 215. West part of Las Vegas it is shop for 33 items and it pays 25.60. So without further ado, I'm gonna go in, shop this order, and then I'll be back. Okay, and we're back from Walmart. It was about 32 minutes for 33 items including some king crab and some other uh, miscellaneous frozen shrimp. Maybe they're having a shrimp or seafood barbecue tonight. Who knows, they got a lot of high-end food. Didn't take long. Uh, that's why it's always nice to shop at Walmart Spark because they have the store la uh, mapped out. Very nice. And uh, sometimes you can follow their plan and you get through fast. Sometimes you have to follow your own plan, start at the produce and work your way across.
Okay, we dropped off that order. It paid us. Of course, I have no internet here, so. <laughs> so the lovely thing about delivery driving in Las Vegas is there's thousands and thousands of gated communities here. And some people include the gate code, which is great. There's a lot of people who do not. And then you have to sit at the gate. Sometimes you get lucky. Someone lets you in uh, that comes in. A lot of times you have to try to call out to the customer. Uh, it's 50-50. Sometimes they respond. Uh, sometimes they don't. It's a hassle. Let's see if we got this up. No, I'm going to have to wait till we get to some internet. Right now I don't have anything yet because I wanted to show everybody in uh, real time the orders that do come in. And uh, right now I did not know, or I did know, but I didn't pay attention. This one actually took me south to Summerlin, which is just west of Las Vegas. It is actually part of Las Vegas, but it's called Summerlin. I wanted to head north to Centennial Hills, which is in northwest Las Vegas. And uh, now that's where we're going to head. As soon as I find my way out of here, which I don't seem to be doing very well at the moment. So until I find something else, I'll be back. Okay, so while I'm driving, I figure I'd add some more content to the channel since I'm just getting started. My motivations, um, one of my biggest motivations is <clears throat> I'm self-employed computer repair guy. I started a computer repair business. <clears throat> I started a computer repair business back in Kenosha, Wisconsin, where I said in the earlier part of this video that I was from. Started that in 2010. I still do that. Uh, then I got interested in this gig economy and delivery. It's fun and interesting and it has its highs and its lows. Obviously, anybody that works in it knows. But for sure, I was inspired. And I've never met this guy, uh, Pedro DoorDash Santiago out of St. Louis. And like I said earlier, I'll have a link down below to his channel. You should check it out. He's got a lot of good content and, uh, you know, hopefully he catches mine and uh, gives me a shout out sometime. That'd be great. But one thing that I agree with this man about 100 percent is this economy, this gig economy and this work. We work on tips and there are so many people who don't tip like this order did not tip, uh, but it did pay twenty five dollars for thirty three items in four miles. Most people would agree that that's pretty decent. And I'll put that up here on the screen as soon as I, uh... So there you go. $25, 33 items, 4 miles. I will start screenshotting it better in the future so you can see these things. But there was no tip. And that's okay because, you know, it was a short drive. I was near the grocery store. Uh, Walmart uh, is, is about four or 3 miles from my house. So it's a short drive and the items were very easy to shop for. Like I said, Walmart Spark has in their app, it will laid out very nicely. Aisles, uh, section numbers, as long as you start to get the hang of it, you can shop that really quick. But back to uh, some of my inspiration, uh, a lot of it uh, about uh, Mr. DoorDash Santiago, the no tip, no trip, I believe in that 100%. I try my hardest to avoid any non-tipping orders. Even if it's a dollar, it's not the greatest, but at least it shows some appreciation because we're out here driving around, especially in towns like St. Louis or Las Vegas with a lot of high traffic. And uh, especially here, they serve alcohol 24 hours a day. So you could get mashed down by a drunk driver at any time. So it's dangerous and people should show appreciation for you going to the store and shopping for them or going to get their food and bringing it to them so they don't have to leave the comfort of their house and it's not like delivery service tipping is a new thing i i'm older <laughs> than than most that do this so i'm not going to tell you exactly but i can say that i know when i ordered a pizza i was going to give the guy excuse me, anywhere from 18 to 25% tip. And that's, you know, just how I was raised. I know there's a lot of people in this country that would uh, beg to differ and think that tipping should be removed altogether. Okay, that's fine. We remove tipping altogether, then what? 
So they have to pay the driver and the workers more money, and then they're just gonna raise the price and make you pay the difference anyway. And that's one thing that I wish a lot of people would understand is, you give your delivery driver $5 for your McDonald's, do you think it was convenient for you to stay home, order your food, and have it delivered to you? Yes, it was. Okay, right now we are driving north along 215 in Las Vegas. You can see the mountains and stuff on the time lapse, hopefully, if I'm doing everything correct. We are going to go up to an area I, it's called Centennial Hills. It's my favorite place to work, although in future videos I'll be working every quadrant of the city, the east, uh, the mid-east, uh, the midwest, the southwest, southeast the Strip, everything. Uh, probably try to work Henderson at some point in time. That's down the road though because I really don't like driving 40 minutes across the city uh, to work if I don't have to. But I'm thinking that at some point we can do that. So right now I'm gonna drive to a spot that I like to sit. Okay, we're not at the spot yet, but I just opened up DoorDash. I had scheduled a shift for 7.30. It is now 6.09 Pacific time. And as you can see, the zone is open. So I am going to go ahead and get in. They just started earn by time the other day. I'm just gonna do earn by order. And I'm going to share all the starting statistics. I will screenshot that and put it up, up there as well. But starting at 488 customer rating, 83% acceptance. Yes, I started at 10% a little over two weeks ago and I boosted it up, it was hell. And 94 completion rate and 282 deliveries. Okay, we got a DoorDash order. I had my phone connected to the car. I didn't hear it at first, so I couldn't show it to you in real time. It is 450 for 1.1 miles. We're gonna go grab it and deliver this order. It's an order, it's not great. Okay, we just got to Panda Express. This order of three items for Randy. It is less than a mile, it is 450. There is probably not a tip. So, you know, we're gonna have to de deliver <laughs> to what uh, Mr. Uh, Bet on You would say is a miserable human being, and I'd agree. It's dinner time, 620 on a, on a Thursday night. Uh, April 13th. I didn't timestamp this earlier and I meant to. And, uh, you know, what? He could have. It could be base pay 250 and a $2 tip. And that'd be awesome. And we'll find out soon. And uh, when we complete it and get there, I'll show you the results. Okay, we just delivered that. It was ultra quick, two minutes, and there was a tip on it. It was, try to get that in there a little bit. 450, two dollar base pay, 450, uh, 250 tip for 450 for like 0.7 tenths of a mile. You gotta like that, and there was a tip, so you gotta appreciate that, gentlemen. So thank you, Randy, and enjoy your Panda Express. Now we're going to sit here, and I'm gonna leave this on since we're in a good zone for a food pickup right now. There's tons of restaurants and things around here. I am getting pings for Spark, but I have ignored them to this point. Oh, well, here we go. $10, four miles, Walgreens. We'll take a screenshot of that. And we are going to take that all day long. And I will see you at Walgreens. I'll put a screenshot to that up here soon. Oh, I'm getting another one to go with it. $6 on the route. All high pay orders. Okay, screenshot that one as well. And we'll take that, add to the route. Both places are right here. We don't have to really drive and we'll get these taken care of. 
Okay, I have to stand corrected. The sun was right over the mountains. It's bright as it can be at this time of day when it's out in the west where I'm at. And I thought it said Walgreens and it said Wingstop, which I was right by. So I have to make a circle and go back there. And then we go to pick up from Obizan's Mexican Grill and then drop those two off. So I wanted to straighten that out. I will include screenshots of those. Uh, you'll be able to see, uh, like I said, they're all diamond uh, high paying orders because my acceptance rate is way up there after uh, two weeks of grinding it to get up there. And uh, I'm going to tell you, it was not pleasant. There was plenty of $2 orders to veterinarians. To veterinarians, $2.50 uh, no tip orders from uh, Chinese places. And uh, that's just embarrassing. But uh, we're going to, we're pulling in the wing stop right now gonna grab this and we'll be right back out okay we got that order from Wingstop sometimes it's a hassle their machine is always out of drink so you have to wait and it's polite to put on a smile there's nothing they're busy it's dinner time and they sell drinks like crazy so give them a smile and it's a different change of pace for them because a lot of drivers come in here and just want to bite their head off so now we're going to go pick up from Oriza Baba's Mexican Grill it is 300 yards away so we're just gonna ride along and then we'll pick that one up here at the first delivery wing stop they gave us the wrong address and then they gave us the gate code and the right address before we arrived which is awesome and we're going to go deliver this wing stop and the other order the lady's yelling at me via text that i'm going the wrong way she doesn't realize that i have two deliveries on this so we'll message her after i get back be right back Okay, it's getting dark. I didn't get my light from Amazon to film in the dark, uh, especially in this area. It's a beautiful view of the city from the, as far west as you can get. It's elevated, it, I wanted to show you. So I'm gonna end today's video. I'll have totals and everything here in just a second. I think it was 25 plus 23, yeah, 25, 26 plus 23, so 49 for two hours of work. Not too shabby. I will see you on the next video and thanks for watching.